So what I want to show you now <clears throat> is what we do with the carrot stick. So she's a little bit nervous. She knows what I'm going to be asking her to do. I'm going to hide her hiney. Okay, get that butt around. Get her to disengage. All right, not very good right there. Okay, we're going to do it again. I want her to disengage that butt because if she doesn't, she can keep moving all day long. Once she disengages it, then I can get started. Oh. Okay, Wendy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, a little nervous. So I'm going to let her move a little bit until she decides that it's okay. Licking and chewing. So this is where patience comes in. She's going to eventually stop and she's going to realize, okay, why am I doing this? She's really not asking me anything that's too hard. Okay, there she goes. Now she's stopped. And all I did was just stand quiet and just let her move around until she decided, why am I doing this? Okay, so now I'm going to try it again. See what happens. All right, so now, so far, it's looking pretty good. Nope, okay, she's gonna move. That's all right, that's fine. Let her move. Notice my body language is relaxed. Now this time, it didn't take quite as long. She knows what I wanna do, but she really doesn't wanna do it. We have a fine line between being afraid of doing it and not wanting to do it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to get started here. Usually when I start, I just start in the front. Okay, she's going to move again. And notice how I give her that freedom of movement and give her her space. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to try it again. So I get the stick in front, <laughs> okay, so you can kind of see now why it took, took quite a while to get her to where she's at, but I will never hold a horse back from being able to move away from a situation that they're not comfortable with, because when you do that, you really almost kind of start a fight with them. And you'll also become part of that predator or whatever it is that she's afraid of. Because you're holding her back and you're not giving them the chance to flee. And this is exactly what she's doing. She's fleeing. Alright? And it's not in the sense of her running away and heading for the hills. But she is fleeing away because she doesn't want to play with this carrot stick this morning. Now I've done this with her before. That's why I'm trying to show it to you now. But I want to also show you that things can change within the course of training. Sometimes you'll take two steps forward, but you can also take a couple of steps backwards. Right now we're going backwards. But I'm not afraid to show it because I want you to see how important your patience is. Because if you lose your patience and you start getting upset, then you might as well call it a day for training. Try to hide her hiney again. Okay. So I'm going to touch her with the carrot stick again. Tails come up, pass and gas. That's a good sign. A little relaxed right there. That's fine. Okay, now let's see if I can do it without holding the rope. Okay, see how she's moving away? She's thinking about leaving. So I'm not going to make a move until she just kind of settles in. I want her to look directly at me. I want both eyes on me. Right now she's only got one. I'm going to touch her. Just let her know she's okay. It's safe. Okay, all right, now I'm going to move the stick in front. Now what, now see how she turned her head? I stopped. If I'd have kept going, she'd have moved away. So they show you a lot of things. If you read their body language, 
it will be a lot easier for you to train your horse. I want her to bring her head towards me again. So I'm going to touch her again. And you see how that head comes back in? Okay. And then I step away. Now she's focused on me again. So now I'm going to try it again. Now this, okay, stopped again. All right, but now I'm going to continue on again. Very good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub her neck, and then I'm going to go take a nice sigh. What I'd like to see is maybe her doing some licking and chewing, or maybe even take a sigh. And I may not get that, but if I do, that's even better. All right, a well, little, little lip movement there, not much. Okay, so now I'm going to switch hands, and I'm going to do it this way. Whoops, see that head come up? And see how I'm just kind of going in a nice rhythm. Now, and I'm going to rub her again because she did good. She didn't move her feet. So that meant that she felt fairly safe, but not really comfortable. If she didn't feel safe, she would have moved her feet and moved away from me. So we got the first part of it, and that's kind of like doing this. It's kind of like a snake motion, the way I do it. So like if you were riding and the snake was to go across you or something like that, uh, some horses will spook at it and some horses won't. I had one mare with a snake just kind of crossed right in front, and she didn't even phase her. So I was pretty fortunate. I was a nervous wreck, but I, she did real good for me. So that's one of the things that I do is just get in front and get that carrot stick, that, that rope, moving like this. Now, with this game, it covers all areas. It covers below, it covers in front, it covers off to the side, it covers above. We'll see how far we can take her today. Okay, so now I'm going to take and just go ahead. Now she's going to move. Okay, because now I'm changing it. Same thing, I'm going to let her go. So she decides that this is okay. Very good. Nope. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. There you go. Good girl. Oh, sweet. Uh oh. Can you back one step? One step. One step. One step, sweetie. One step. One step. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take the rope. Now I'm going to hold her a little bit. Nope. Okay, I'm going to let her go. All right, we got the licking and chewing going on. So this will be one of the things that I'll have to work with her more on. And um, I'll probably have to show you this in another video, which is okay. Because I don't want to force the issue. Right now she's a little bit nervous. And I've been kind of messing with her for about the last 45 minutes or so. So her fun button probably has gone off. And I think she's probably had enough. And that's another thing that you have to realize. Is that when they've had enough, when to quit. Don't want to force the issue. All right. She's telling me she's had enough. Now she did allow me to go ahead and take the carrot stick and work her on the front. But she's had enough. So we're going to call it. And we're going to call it a success, even though I didn't get to do the rest of what I wanted to do. But that's all right. We're still in the beginning stages of training. And when we get through with this, she also does the lateral flexion. And um, that's very important. Those are your brakes for when you stop your horse. So we'll be moving on to later on, after we do the carrot game, the games with the carrot stick. I'll be showing you that we're going to start doing mounting block games and putting the pad on her and stuff like that. And that's going to be in preparation for getting up on her back. So thank you for watching and I hope you got something out of it. And remember, it's just you read your horse's body language. They'll tell you things if you're paying attention that when they've had enough or when they want to do more or if they're having fun or whatever. All right. Thank you very much.